uh, the FUD narrative, no use case. Calvert is saying that's a FUD narrative he is. Bitcoin has no use case. Um, this is truly silly. It's like saying um, uh, money doesn't have a use case. How can money not have a use case? It's the best money the world has ever known. It's the best performing asset the world has ever known. It's the hardest money. On April 21st, Bitcoin becomes harder than gold. Basically, its stock to flow shoots past gold and real estate at the same time, becoming the hardest asset on planet Earth. So what hard means is that it's, it's difficult to create more of it. All right, so gold has an inflation rate of approximately one and a half to two percent every single year all right and this will go on for eternity so gold is not scarce by any stretch of the imagination it's just hard to get to it but it's there in infinite amounts we haven't even begun to search for gold at the bottom of the oceans or in mountains in meteorites that can be reached by vehicles today. I mean, it's infinite in the universe. It's just hard to get at, okay? And it's expensive to get at. So if gold were to go from $2,000 an ounce to 4,000, trust me, there are mines that have a ton of gold in them today that if the price went higher, those mines would be reopened because it's not profitable at 2000 to mine them. The gold is there, but you lose money by mining it. But if it goes to 4000 now you don't lose money by mining it. All of these mines would reopen. All of this mining machinery would get the dust blown off of it, and you would start to see that 1.5% um, inflation rate of new gold coming from a below ground to above ground go to something like 6%. And there's a saying in the commodity business that higher the, the the solution to higher prices for a commodity is higher prices. So higher prices make it more profitable to go to work at producing the commodity. Producing the commodity more at the higher prices creates more supply. More supply starts to quell the price all the way back down. But this is something that you can't do with Bitcoin. You can't, no matter how high the price goes, and no matter how many additional miners join the network to mine, to compete for the block reward, you can't produce more, making it the hardest money the world has ever seen. But let us let me talk very briefly about this utility FUD, the, the, the idea that Bitcoin doesn't have a utility. Utility is something that I think that that I've come to realize that the vast majority of people don't understand where it fits in valuing utility with a commodity in particular. You see, listen to me carefully, and this is something that I actually suggest that you take notes on. Utility in a commodity, the higher the utility, the lower the, the value of the commodity i'm going to repeat that the higher the utility of something the lower the price of something think about it the higher the utility of something the lower the price of something now i know this is not entirely fair but it will drive the point home Gold is used in a utilitarian way. Gold is used less than silver. Silver is used like a thousand times more than gold. But gold is above $2,000 an ounce. Silver is at $26 an ounce. $2,026. But silver has more utility than gold. Lower unit price. Copper is actually far more used than silver. It's one of the most used items on planet Earth, copper. Yet copper is at four, $5 per unit. 
and silver is at 26. So gold is at 2000 plus. It's used less than silver. Silver is at 26. It's used less than copper. Copper is at four, five. It's used. And then you go all the way to water. Water is used more than copper. And what's a bottle of water today? A dollar? And air is used more than water. How much does air cost? Zero. So the higher the utility of something, the lower its unit price. Bitcoin is used less than gold, and it is at 67,000. Gold is used less than silver. It is at 2,000 plus. Silver is used less than copper. It's at $4. Copper is used less than water. It's at $1. Water is used less than air. It's free. You don't want high utility with your valuable money. Do you understand? This is an error. What's the utility of a vault? It's a freaking empty space that does nothing but sit there, right? A secure vault just is an empty space that you put something in and it doesn't do a damn thing. The space just sits there, but what is its value? It protects it forever. That's what Bitcoin does. It protects your life forever. It protects your future forever. It allows, if you, whatever you place in the protection of Bitcoin, no other human being, no other man can touch, take, confiscate, debase, ruin, or steal from you. That's its utility. Its utility is that it is guaranteed mathematically to become scarcer and therefore more valuable every four years of its life forever all the way to 2140. Its utility is that it will increase who you are, make you richer, make you more, secure your family more every four years until you die and beyond, until your children die and beyond forever. That's its utility. It's the most secure vault the world has ever known. It's the, it's the greatest savings technology that human beings have ever come in contact with. It's the most certain thing that we have ever encountered in the entire evolutionary process of human beings. For the first time, Bitcoin has brought to our lives a certainty based on mathematics that we've never had with anything else that we were told to trust our future with because every single thing else we were told to trust our future with is a man-made item. And because it's a man-made item, it is fallible. Human beings are fallible. And therefore, the things that they create have that fallibility inherent in them. Well, Bitcoin is not influenced, controlled, or manipulated by any human being, yet it is available to every single human being on Earth. For the first time, it has brought the ultimate utility and the ultimate height of certainty. Hallelujah!